Well, welcome to day three of the organ build. I'll pan through the sanctuary so you can see that little by little, or lot by lot, much is leaving the sanctuary area and heading toward, and can you believe it? My goodness, this is late in the afternoon, again on day three. It's like the organ, that's its full size, full height. And we'll go up and see what else is there. Go clear to the outside of that style and measure. Inches? Yeah, about 15. About 15. So, which is? <clears throat> so like 400. You still got my tape, Paul. But Tim is standing yeah. on the top wind chest? Mm hmm. Okay. It's on your little tray. And that is the last wind chest to go in. Yeah. How, how deep is the molding? I guess they can't go any higher. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's amazing. How deep is the molding? Well, it gives you a good idea of the height of the entire unit. Okay, it's the side of the instrument. This shows the view of the back. And you remember the door that some folks are bringing in. The door with the handle. There it is. Somebody's coming down the little stairs. I'm going to go in there and show you what I found. Okay, only with permission. Uh, I'm actually inside of the instrument right now. Here's the back of the console. Remember all the little teeny wood pieces sticking out of the manuals? Well, now they're connected, and I'll show you where they're connected to. That long piece there, and then it goes, those other little pieces of wood go into the body of that wind chest there, where you see all the little teeny holes. I have no idea what all this is called, but it's cool. Now, as you can see, there's a lot more scaffolding that has been assembled in front of the instrument. That's what's been going on late this afternoon and into the evening. That's going to allow them to take the big pieces that are the caps and which Eric is uh, standing beside right now. That allows them to get them on top of the instrument.